Tuesday at Carolina definitely wasn't what we wanted. Um, you know, going down early big. But uh, some positive things from that is we had some guys come out of the bullpen and uh, do some nice things. Guys that haven't had a lot of opportunity, quite honestly, um, and kept us in the game until late. Didn't seem to be a lot of hangover uh, going into the weekend. Played a tremendous game on Friday night, 4-3, to three, unfortunately, was a loss. But gave us an opportunity to come back and win uh, the series the hard way, winning on Saturday and Sunday. Chris Clare had a special week, but he's had a great year. Uh, for him to be swinging the bat the way he is offensively uh, for the entire season has been awesome. And, uh, you know, as a result of that, we moved him into the three hole. He has uh, progressively gotten better um, all year at shortstop. It was a new position for him to learn at the collegiate level, and he's done a great job with that. And he and Hunter Lee are working really well together in the middle, uh, rolling balls over, turning double plays. And, um, you know, he's been a tremendous producer from an offensive standpoint for us. And Dominic Fazio has come in and done a great job at third base for us. And Carson Jackson's special at first. Uh, you know, he has bailed a lot of guys out this year with great picks. I think it's a confidence thing, um, relaxing and letting the game come to him, and just consistent work ethic that's instilled from uh, Coach Smith. Our three weekend starters are are special. Uh, Scott Hoffman carried a no-hitter through five innings and unfortunately we didn't win the game on Friday but uh, he's putting us in a great position to maximize our bullpen by giving us a quality start every Friday. Andre bounces back from his toughest outing of the year against Maryland and was unbelievable, virtually unhittable. Felt like Andrew Godfrey took a step forward as a young guy. He's learning how to navigate the middle innings and how to handle opponents the second and the third time through the order. Um, and he willed us to victory, quite honestly, on Sunday when you know there weren't a lot of runs to be had. And to be able to have two guys back there uh, with Spencer Brown and J.J. Woodard uh, to block the way they do, to receive the way they do, uh, to throw the way they do is a, is a luxury. We need to just kind of take some time back to let our guys kind of regenerate themselves uh, from a mental standpoint because this is going to be a grind. Playing Wilmington, who's a tremendous team, a uh, very offensive club, is going to be a challenge for us uh, tomorrow night on Wednesday. Uh, going on the road to Gardner-Webb, where Gardner-Webb has played very, very well this year, uh, is going to be another difficult road test for us. And we're just approaching it as it's a great opportunity, and we're going to see exactly what we're made of. We're not going to change our approach at all from what we have all year long, and I'm confident that our guys are going to handle the challenge.